everyone, I'm Grattles, and today I want to take a look at the big picture. There's a lot of people out there that never played a city builder game in their life, and they see City Skylines 1, a really older game, especially considered in today's standards, and City Skylines 2, a brand new shiny game, and it, you know, it's got problems. But, you know, you're still trying to make a decision. You're still trying to figure out which one should I buy, the newer game, the older game, Today I'm going to show you what I think each one has to offer and you can make a decision based on that. So let's go ahead jump in and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So let's take a look at City Skylines 1. It came out in March 2015 and that's eight years now, a little over. And we have gotten quite a bit of expansion on this game. Today's standards, we don't get a, a complete game anymore. I think EA killed that with Sims, adding DLC packs like crazy, and everybody kind of jumped on board. So we don't we don't get a complete game anymore. So we did get a lot of extra stuff that we had to pay for, uh, yeah, but yeah, we got a lot of stuff. So let's take a look at what we got with CS1. Expansion packs. 11 expansion packs, After Dark, Snowfall, Natural Disasters, Mass Transit, Green Cities, Park Life, Industries, Campus, Sunset Harbor, Airports, and Plazas and Promenades. We also got four flavor packs. Match Day, Concerts, Financial District, Hotels, and Retreats. Then we got 21 cosmetic packs. We got the Art Deco, Stadiums, High Tech Buildings, Pearls from the East, European Suburbia, University City, Modern City Center, Modern Japan, Bridges and Piers, Train Stations, Vehicles of the World, Mid-Century Modern, Seaside Resorts, Heart of Korea, Skyscrapers, Africa in Miniature, Shopping Malls, Sports Venues, Brooklyn and Queens, Industrial Evolution, and Railroads of Japan. Then we got a few other things that were added. The Deluxe Edition Upgrade Pack, Content Creator Pack for Map Pack 1 and Content Creator Pack Map Pack 2. And that didn't even include the, I don't know, umpteen radio stations we got on top of all that. So as you can see, we have a pretty complete game. You're talking probably around three to four hundred dollars if you got it on sale and you don't have to buy all of it at once. You can buy a little at a time, but considering City Skylines 2 with the DLC is about ninety dollars, it's a pretty good deal. Next, let's talk about mods. City Skylines 1 with mods is amazing. They had mods from day one on the Steam Workshop and we had some of the most incredible modders and still to this day, we do still have the most incredible modders. We have ones with quality of life for the game. We have maps and we have assets and there's nothing more satisfying than having a game that has a great modding community. So for mods, City Skylines, that's the game to go. That is still the game to go for mods. All right, let's talk about reviews. This game has gotten the best reviews since day one. It's got the top reviews. It's considered to be the best city building game ever to date. And yeah, there's nothing to complain about. I agree completely. Now let's talk about specs. Here we take a look at the recommended and minimum specs for this game. And as you can see, most systems nowadays can play this game. It shouldn't be a problem. RAM would be a little bit more if you have a lot of mods and assets, but overall this game runs pretty smoothly. I just want to pop in quickly and say if you're enjoying this video to like, subscribe, comment, and share because I really appreciate it. Thank you. So let's jump into City Skylines 2. So City Skylines 2 was released on October 24th, 2023. So this game has very mixed reviews, but unfortunately even the positive ones show the problems that are in the game. So with that being said, it looks like it could be a good game. It could be a good game years down in the line. I don't know, maybe a year or two, but right now it has a lot of issues. So let's continue on to some articles I found. Here's an article where the author talked to CPP, which is City Planner Plays, with his insight on the game itself, especially having early access. 
Here's another article about how Colossal's not going to do weekly patches for the game anymore because it's going to work on the bigger issues that they do have. All the links to these articles will be in the description below. So that could be a good thing and a bad thing. It means they're working hard to try to get this game up and running the way it should be, but it also means that the game you have now, you can't expect anything to be done now or in the near future. They had also said they want to really focus on console as well, which they announced to be out in the spring of 2024. So I wouldn't see any major things being fixed for quite a while. So this is going to leave people like you and me frustrated with a game that we could see the potential, but we just can't play it the way it was made to be intended to play. Unfortunately, I think it needs some time for the developers to get things straightened out, bug fixes. There's so many issues and a lot of people just can't run it on the systems they have. So to be fair, I'm not bashing City Skylines 2. In fact, as a content creator being basically niched into City Skylines 1, I was looking so forward to City Skylines 2 and making content on it. And unfortunately, in the state it's in, I just can't run it. But I'm sure a lot of you can't. So unfortunately, we just have to wait. And that's going to take time. But I'm hoping. So this video is about whether you should invest in City Skylines 1 over City Skylines 2 at the moment in time. And my suggestion is yes. Invest in City Skylines 1 if you really want to play a city building game. This is still the best city building game out there. And City Skylines 2 has super potential. It just should have been either early access or just not released this early. I think it will be an amazing game in time, but as of now, I can't really recommend it to be purchased. It doesn't make sense. But overall, I would say the investment right now is more pertinent. You can get City Skylines 1 cheap, uh, very cheap, and it has so many expansions out there, and play with it, learn with it. And then when City Skylines 2 is ready, then go for that, because I know I will. If it's ready and it's good, I'm gonna get it. Um, so yeah, that's my suggestion for all of you as of today. And I really do hope to see huge improvements on the game in the very near future. I think for my channel, if we want to be honest, I'll still play City Skylines 1 because I love the game. But I'm also starting to branch out into other games like Satisfactory and Space Engineers. I like building games. I love anything where I can create and build and honestly I love multiplayer games. I play with uh, Jake Jemison and Ack Original and they're both amazing content creators and I'll put a link to their channels in the description below. So again, I'm Grattles and if you like my content and you want to see more, please click that like button, subscribe, comment, share and do all those good things. I could use it and I appreciate it. Thanks. Bye.